Right, let's now cross over to Berlin where we understand that the award ceremony has begun and Eliud Kipchoge who uh, broke that world marathon record with a two hour, one minute and 40 seconds uh, time is will be awarded uh, his uh, a win any moment from now. We also understand that Gladys Cheron had been awarded some time earlier. There you have it. They are lined up there with that two hour, one second and 39 seconds win. Of course, just waiting for the award ceremony to begin. Let's just listen in to what is currently happening in Berlin. His name. Two hours, one minute and 39 seconds. A monstrous improvement of one minute and 18 seconds from Dennis Kometa's four-year-old world record. His halves were 61.06 and 60.34. Almost superhuman, that second half of his Berlin journey today. He averaged 252.9 per kilometer. For each 10 kilometer segment, listen to this, he averaged 28.49. And for those of you who love a few stats, his half marathon average for each of the two halves today, 60 minutes and 49 seconds. It was quite simply breathtaking. And he, in truly superhuman style, had plenty of energy left to celebrate after the race with his coach, with the throng behind the finish line, and then with the crowds. He almost looks like he'd do it all over again, doesn't he? Records, of course, are made to be broken. The medals, well, they last forever. He has a world championship gold from 15 years ago at 5,000 meters. He has an Olympic gold medal from Rio just over two years ago. Those will never be taken from him. This record one day will be improved, but I strongly suspect as we hear the Kenyan national anthem, this record will last for a long, long time, unless he improves it himself. to Elliot Kipchoge, the eighth world record here.